Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Sports Federation TV, and we continue with this uh, evening's um, uh, discussion with the various federations in uh, the Western Cape. Talking to me now is um, Karina De Beer, the uh, National Secretary of Black Powder Shooting, as well as the Western Cape Provincial uh, Secretary of Black Powder. Karina De Beer, hello. Welcome to Sports Federation TV. Thank you very much. I don't think we've had you on before. Have no, we no, no. We only joined um, earlier this year. All right. So um, just tell us a little bit about Black Powder because, uh, it, you know, when I, when I saw Black Powder, I thought there's a bunch of pirates running around with those old rifles and they put the powder in the top. Tell us about Black Powder. That's about what it is, really? although we're not, yeah, we're not pirates. Um, so <laughs> it is muzzle loading shooting. Um, we, we, we do it competitively. Um, we, we cater for handguns, revolvers and pistols, and then also rifles. And we shoot from 25 meters up to um, 900 meters. And these are all, when you say muzzle loading, I mean, you actually physically have to load the muzzle? Yes. So, so after there's no bullets uh, no bullet. you're putting in the back. You actually have to put powder yes. in. You get up after each shot, clean your barrel, and sort of build your, your bullet before you go down and, and shoot the next shot. So it must be quite a traditional sport. Yes, uh, I think so. A, you must have a love for the sport somehow. Yes. <laughs> um, the the uh, World Organization is about 100 years old now. The National Organization was founded in 1958. And um, we've been shooting um, on... on um, club level uh, for a long time, but in 2006 we were readmitted we, to the world. This this sport must go back as far back as from when the first rifle was invented. Yes, some of the rifles are very old. That's why we shoot in two different classes. We have the original class, which means that the, these rifles are really that came out yeah, in yeah. 18 whatever and then we have the replica class where the rifles need to be need to conform 100 percent to the original one but they are built um by by modern technology i'm assuming that if you want to go black powder shooting you want to take part in one of the traditional uh components that you're not going to go just down to the shop and buy yourself a a, a front muzzle loading these are antiques they are and and it takes a lot of um preparation and a lot of um, uh, fine tuning to really get not two rifles like the same load yeah, or the yeah. same bullet weight. We do cast our own lead bullets, uh, different weights, different uh, forms, those things. We have different um, loads, charges of black powder that we use. So it takes a lot of time to, to really get your rifle's sweet spot and to be able to, to really shoot competitively. How popular is black, uh, black powder in South Africa? Um, I think it's more popular that it, than it is um, affordable. It's, it's yeah. quite an expensive sport. We have only two provinces that, that have clubs that compete on a, on a regular basis. It's the Western Cape and then Gauteng. So once a year we have the national um, championships between the two provinces. And then once a year also we have a provincial championship here and a provincial championship in Gauteng. Uh, we have in the Western Cape about 40, maybe 45 members, active members. And well, um, in, in, in South Africa, we have maybe 90. Okay. Now, I see you wearing a Proteus ja uh, blazer here, which means that you obviously affiliate to the Sascock structures. That's right. Um, but the blazer says shooting. Yes. Uh, so are you, are you guys affiliated as black powder or, or do you get affiliated as shooting? How does it work from a national perspective? Initially, we were affiliated as black powder shooting, but then they um, amalgamated all the shooting sports. Now okay. it only says shooting. So you're part of an umbrella body? Yes, that's right. All right. And then that happens, that, that obviously filters down into a provincial level where you, in theory, you should have an umbrella body and, and so on as well. Yes. We belong to the South African Bisley Union, which is then directly affiliated to SASIF. Right. And um, they, they is, we also do Bisley style shooting where we do the long range shooting. So uh, everybody who shoots um, in the Western Cape uh, Black Powder Association or in the clubs as well as the national clubs are affiliated to the are uh, affiliated as individuals it's, to Sabu as well. It's obviously not a, not a sport for kids. Unfortunately, no. Yeah. Firstly, the, the rifles and things are very heavy. Secondly, you need to have uh, competency certificates and all those kinds of things. We have been to um, Hungary uh, in August. Uh, we took two juniors. The yeah. one was in grade 11. The other one was in grade 12. And with the permits, although we do not need licenses for the, for the muzzle loaders, you need the, the competency and we needed to apply for, for permits. And they couldn't get the permits on their names. So 
the seniors had to had to so apply for the uh, permits for those rifles. Are you saying that in terms of, 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 of handgun rules, regulations and so on, you don't need a license for front loading? Is, why, why is that? It is deregulated. According oh, right. to the Firearms Act, it okay. is described as not a... Not exactly, though, your perfect self-defense weapon. Not at all. I mean, you're not going to be racing down when there's a burglar in the kitchen and no. quickly, quickly front uh, hold up the powder and... It takes about two minutes from when you get up when you, until you and go down to And by then your shoot. microwave and your toaster, oh, and it's all gone? Yes. Okay, your TV's got a... You're yeah. still, you, okay. the, the only, the only th um, uh, uh, muzzle-loading firearm that, that will need to be licensed in the very near future is the cap and ball revolver. Okay. Because it can load multiple chambers. Yeah, yeah. So um, the Firearms Act is still um, under scrutiny, and yeah. very soon that will be. Uh, we need it. We will need to to license those ones. All right. Well, you sent in a couple of pictures here, and I think uh, we want to we'll have a look here at at, at some of these um, pictures. Some of the the MLAIC event. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that is. Uh, maybe just uh, talk us talk us through this um, this picture here. What what do we see over here? Okay. So the MLAIC is the World Body for Muzzle Loaders Associations International Confederation. Okay. So. We had the World Championship, the Short Range World Championship in Hungary. Um, Was the, this picture from Hungary? Yes. So that is okay. where one of our teams, we, we, we took a team of six people. Four of the six was from Cape Town or yeah. from, from uh, the, the Western Cape. And that is where one of my teams um, got the, the bronze medal in, in one of the team um, These are, of course, the, the, the medals that, 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 uh, that you got there. Yes, that, that, is, that is the whole um, uh, harvest for the six, be six, six uh, shooters okay. of us. Okay, and then we'll... Uh, is this you lying here? Yes, it is. Uh, that's you lying there. You've got your own... Uh, how, did you, how did you perform yourself? Were you happy with your results? Yes, yes, I actually was very happy. Um, I came fourth in one of the competitions, and I, was, um, uh, I got a silver medal as part of the team. Um, in one of the others. Now, this was the picture that surprised me the most, uh, was the, um, uh, how many competitors you actually had at this event. This was event was the, the World Champs up at the West Coast? Yes, that was 2013. We had uh, just short of 100 competitors mm. for long range. Um, when we go to short range competitions, there is um, anything between 500 and 600 competitors. 500 so and 600? I mean, that's, yes, that's, a, that's quite a, a lot. And, and this the, was the World Championships that was held here in Cape Town? Yes. I must yes. be quite proud of, of being able to do that. Did you have to bid for it? Um, there are only a number of countries that can host because um, the, the availability of that specific long range yeah. is, is a problem. But we had the previous time we, we hosted it in 2007 okay. and we hosted it in 2013 again. So, yes, we do have to bid. And in the end, they look at a number of things like experience and infrastructure facilities. And, and Karina, just finally, for the folks that want to come and watch or that are interested in what they heard tonight, where, where, where would they find out more about Black Powder? We have the um, National Bodies um, website, which is uh, www.bpsu.co.za. That okay, stands well, for Black Powder Shooting Union. All right, we'll, we'll make sure that we put it on the screen right here. Um, Karina De Beer, thank you very much for joining us. Um, good luck for 2017. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have an interesting year for Black Powder. We're gonna, See how you guys do. Thank you. We're sending a team to Australia next year. Oh, well, I'm sure you guys are going to do fantastic. Thank you we very much. We always beat the Aussies. Oh, yes, that's the main thing. <laughs> we beat the Aussies, we're happy, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Karina. <laughs> right, folks, uh, black powder shooting. Now we know it's front muzzle loading. I didn't know that. How interesting is that? Um, right here on Sports Federation TV. Of course, the show that looks after the federations in the Western Cape. In fact, we're the only sport uh, show in the country that has a, um, a show that is dedicated to the federations. Uh, when we come back, we'll be talking uh, to uh, Donna Lowry from um, Cape Town Gymnastics. Now, Cape Town Gymnastics, of course, part, forms part of the, uh, the gymnastics movement in uh, South Africa. We'll talk to you more about that in a second.